Well, there's something really special inside the Detroit Police 6th Precinct on the city's west side. They've transformed what used to be a holding cell into something that's helping the community. Our Kim DiGiulio has a look inside. Ten years ago, if you were walking down this hall, it meant you were in trouble with the police. But since this holding cell was closed down at Detroit 6 Precinct, they've turned these holding cells into donation centers. It's amazing how a couple of coats of paint and a new purpose can change a room. This used to be a dark, dreary place back here for people that weren't doing what they were supposed to do in the um, community. And so we decided to turn it into something that will uplift and help the community. These officers at Detroit 6 Precinct have stocked each old cell with donations. We give out clothes, shoes, diapers, baby food. Anything you can think of, we give it away. Calling it the community closet. This is open to the entire city of Detroit. Anyone who is struggling to get by. So if they have an interview and they can't afford to buy a suit, we usually bring them to that cell right here. And say, pick good. Exactly. They've been connecting with Detroiters for the past year in this positive way. We're not always just out here to um, put people in jail or to um, deal with really bad situations. We can also help you out when you're not when you don't have the means to do so yourself. For some, it's an experience seeing what a jail cell looks like. When you see a police station, you know, you go by the movies or the TV shows and you kind of are excited to see, oh my gosh, like it's a police station, it's the cell block, this is where they have prisoners. Mm -hmm. So when they're back here, just that alone makes it exciting. There's also the rare occurrence when someone gets to appreciate the new paint and this room's new purpose to give back. One uh, particular woman that came here, she was uh, brought to jail here years when this was open and she was like, oh my God, I can't believe that this looks like this. While you see lots of items here today, these could all be gone by next week. If you have any new or lightly used items that you'd like to donate to the community closet, we've posted all the information on how to do that on our website at clickondetroit.com. In Detroit, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. There you go. I bet there's a lot of people that could make a donation there. Great use of space, right? For sure. It's a slow-moving disaster happening on a small Spanish island.